Hi everybody, ready for another review? So everybody knows who is who is talking. Well, not actually Sparta, but this is Leo Urpa Reviews, and today we're going to review the Transaero Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. It's a brand new release by Urpa, so this is a pretty new plane. So let's take a look, like always, at the box first. The new style box with the window. With the Transaero logo, Boeing 777-200ER, scale 1500, Urpa logo on the top, Urpa miniature model. Let's take a look here at the side. So there is a pick of, of the real 777. It says Transaero Airlines. Transaero Airlines Boeing 777-200 registration EIUNW. So it's Echo India Uniform November Whiskey. And the number is 523-561. That's it. Take a look. Is the here's the real info about the the real triple seven, featuring a nice a nice picture and the real info here. Um, copyright by Christoph Flink. Yeah, that's it, Christoph Flink. Here the information about Wings World, the Herbal Wings Club, etc. The Boeing logo it says. Boeing 777-200 produced under license. Boeing 777 and the distinct, distinctive Boeing logos, product markings and trade trade dress are trademarks of the Boeing company. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Sorry. So let's take a look at the model. Let's unbox the model. Now that's a tight box. So here we go. So we can take a look, a look at the model first. Let's see here the front. Okay, here the front with the Transaero name actually written in Cyrillic I don't know how to say that, Cyrillic, it's Russian, I don't know what so the Russian flag in here and the registration with the Boeing 777-200ER logo on the tail the Transaero tail so this is a pretty nice model I must admit I like very much the Transaero livery not many people like it, some people say it's very boring, some pretty do, but I really like the Transaero livery. And Erpa did a good job on this model. This is their second Transaero release, the first one was a 747-200 and I have that model. So I'm going to do a, a review of the 747-200 later. So this model is pretty nice, I, I like a lot the 777 mode by Erpa. However they they have a weak weak spot and it's the engine the real 777 200 this one the transaero one is powered by pratt and whitney engines and it seems that erpa doesn't have the pratt and whitney engines so what they do they put the ge90 on the on the 777 which is actually pratt and whitney powered well, the GE90 is actually a huge engine, it's the biggest engine of aviation, and it surely looks too different, too different compared to the, to the Pratt & Whitney one. So, Arpa should correct this as soon as possible, in my opinion. They have the Rolls-Royce engines, with, with, sorry, which are, are pretty small, they are, sm they are smaller than the GE ones, so they should put the Rolls-Royce, because the the size of the Rolls Royce is, is pretty, is, is pretty, pretty, how can I say, shit. It's, it's about the same size of the Pratt & Whitney engine, so they, they should put the Rolls Royce instead of this one. So let's take an, another overview at the model. Here we go, completely clean, clean wings. There are no markings on the wings. I guess that's right, the real one, I don't think it has, so let's, let's see under. So 
So here's the detail of the belly. Here's the registration printed under the wing. So let's take let's see here. The tail is actually made by by metal, which is pretty good also. Both both the fins and the vertical stabilizer are made made in die cast metal. Here you can see the the beacon light. So we all know the quality of Herpa actually. They don't put much much details on their models. Their models are pretty clean. So if, if you like details, I suggest you not buying this model because it doesn't have much detail. But I really think if you are if you aren't that picky, that would be a pretty nice addition to your fleet because the livery of Transaero is very nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the Transaero is written in English on the other side. <laughs> so the Transaero liver is pretty nice, I really like the 777 mode. And this is a pretty new release, so it would be a nice addition to your fleet. That's it, thanks for watching.